when you feel the appropriate time, I want you to say this. I want you to say, you know what? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So, you know, since I've been doing this, all this coaching and, and, and all this selling and everything that I'm doing out there, my philosophy is be 95% low pressure, 5% high pressure. And so, so many of you are asking me, Ricky, when do I apply that 5%? When do I be high pressure? Okay, when can I ask them for the business? When can I tell them to sign the line here? So, I figured I would do a video on just that. Before we get started on that, please click the like button and shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think about my videos, my coaching program, all the above. So let's dive right into this. So this is about conversion, right? This is literally about converting. How you take someone and you, you ask for the business and you ask in a way where they want to sign the line, sign the contract, sign the listing, make the offer, put their property on the market, whatever the case may be, we're wanting to try to convert them into a deal so that we can make some money. I totally get it, I understand, and that's why I wanted to make this video. First off, I think it's really important to understand the mechanics of the conversion, okay? Because I think that this is really important. I think that you should connect first, then convert, okay? Connect first, then convert. So what we have to do is we have to really get to know someone, all right? We need to find out more about them. We need to find out what they're trying to do Okay, I like to ask if they have an agent they're gonna work with and kind of try to establish, you know, my foot right there in the relationship. Okay, where do I stand? Am I gonna be this agent? Do I have a shot to be the agent, you know, in this transaction? What what's going on here? Okay, and then from there, once I establish myself as their agent, you know, I want to know more about why. Why they're trying to do what they want to do. Why do they want to buy? Why do they want to sell? Okay, and when I start to understand the philosophies and the psychology behind why they're selling, why they're buying, okay, now a couple of things are happening. One, I'm getting to know them better, they're getting to know me better, okay? They're starting to feel comfortable with me, like that I'm actually looking out for them, not just trying to get a deal done. And to be honest, one reason why I'm making this video is because I was on a coaching call, okay? And by the way, if you want a coaching call with me, all you have to do is complete the 90-day action plan. That's it, it's free. I do coaching calls for free. You complete the 90 day action plan. We get on a call. We talk about what happened during the 90 days. I talk about what the problems were, you know, what I can do to help you from that point. Then we create goals. Um, whatever you need, I'm there to talk about it and try to walk you through it. So I was on one of these calls uh, with a young lady who finished the 90 days and she said that. She had a lot of, and she's only about three months in the business. She's doing really well, but she said that she had a lot of people that she's talked to cold calling that are going to do business, you know, maybe three or four months from now, okay, after the first of the year into the spring. And I started asking her more and more about those situations. And I said, you know, are you asking them why they're waiting till the spring or why they're selling? And she said, no, not really. Um, and I said, okay, well, that there you go, because this is what happens. You think you have a prospect that's going to do business with you, okay? But you don't really, you didn't really ask them why. You didn't really go deep with the conversation. You really don't know what's going on, so you really don't know if they're really going to do something in the spring, okay? So, and, and also <clears throat> that conversation that you had, they could have been just telling you what they think that you wanted to hear to get you off the phone. They're not going to answer the phone when you call in the spring. Okay, you didn't connect with them, you didn't go deep, but you think you did because they told you, oh, I'm gonna sell in the spring, call me back then. Okay, that thinking that you're gonna forget about them or thinking that, you know, they'll just not answer your call. That, trust me, that is a lot of the time. That, that, that's more cases than not, especially with newer agents who don't understand the philosophy of tone and the FE, making people feel like they're a friend or family. Okay, so, but I tried to explain to her, and that's what led me to this video, and I think it could be very beneficial for everybody watching, that that, that question of why they're selling, why they're buying, leads to us being able to set up a game plan around follow-up that they're going to be expecting. It's going to set the expectations for how the follow-up's going to go, and every situation is different. That's why I can't say this is how you follow up with everyone. All right, we're gonna we're gonna find out why they want to do what they want to do, and then create a game plan around that. 
now you know we're working as a team with them towards the end goal so I want to connect first then convert I want to create the game plan around why they're buying or selling okay but Okay, let's, let's take that part out of the equation and let's talk about how we ask for the business, okay? How do we actually convert once it gets to that point, okay? We've connected, all right? We're feeling it. We're, we're basically friends. They're telling us all about their family and their history and all this stuff, all right? And by the way, when people are talking a lot, that means they're feeling comfortable, okay? So if you can get them talking to you and they're talking and talking, that means they feel comfortable with you and that is what you want. Your number one goal is to make them feel comfortable with you. I'll say this over and over and over again, okay? But say we're showing property, okay? Say we're working with a buyer. I wanna give you a way to convert a buyer, a question, a statement, uh, uh, what to say to close in and to use that 5% high pressure at the right time for a buyer and for a seller. Two different scenarios. So let's talk about the buyer first. We've got the buyer, we're showing houses. You know, we've looked at, say, for example, eight houses. This is after we've really connected, we really understand what's going on. We've we've put together a game plan to work together with the prospect as a team for their end goal within the time frame that they want. Okay, we're on the sixth house of eight. We look at the other two, they say, we really wanna go back to number six. We go back to number six, we're looking through number six, walking through there, and they're talking about how much they really like this house, okay? Um, or maybe they're not even saying that they really like the house. Maybe they're just giving, maybe you're just catching the vibes, okay? A lot of times people won't tell you what they're really thinking, okay? Because they don't really want you to know for whatever reason. Maybe they don't know you well enough or whatever, everybody's different. But let's say they tell you that they really like it or you just catch the vibe that they really like it, okay? When you feel the appropriate time, I want you to say this. I want you to say, you know what? And this could be in the middle of a conversation. This could be y'all are talking about it, they're asking you questions. And then at the right moment, you're gonna say, look, I think we need to go ahead and make an offer on this. Are you guys ready to make an offer? Because I really think we should. Okay, that's the line. That's the high pressure. That's the 5%. Okay, we're gonna say, look, I think we need to go ahead and make an offer on this. All right, are y'all ready to make an offer? Because I think we really should. Now at this point, we've connected with them. They trust us. This isn't gonna be like Phil. This isn't gonna have a, a high pressure feel. And we're just throwing it out there. If they say no or they're against it, that's fine. We're just applying that 5%, throwing it out there to see what happens. And we've applied it much after the 95% low pressure. That's why it's okay to do it. So, and the reason, sometimes the reason why is because, hey, it's on the market now. It might not be tomorrow. If you really like it, I think we need to go ahead and make an offer. You ready to make an offer? Because I really think we should. Okay, so that's your buyers. 5% at the right time. Uh, line okay so I hope that really helps you it's something that I use a lot and it's something that really works a lot okay for a seller say I'm at a listing appointment or say I've met this seller several times or I know this seller maybe we've done deals before whatever the case may be I've connected with them the connection is there I know why they want to sell I understand you know everything going on with them and I've connected with them all that's in place and done now we're to the point where, you know, they're giving, again, they're giving me the vibe that they want to go ahead and list, or maybe they talk, they, they say something that indicates that they're ready, but they haven't quite said it. Okay, it's time to apply that 5%. This is the line I'm going to use. I think we should go ahead and put it on the market. Are you ready to go ahead and put it on the market? Because I really think we should go ahead and do that. Now I'm not saying list it. Okay, and I, I did a video about this. Um, you know, I mean, after you make people feel comfortable with you, that word listing is not is okay to use. You know, they're not going to care. But I think it's better not to because it doesn't feel, it doesn't have that salesy feel. But if you just approach them and say, "Hey, I think we should go ahead and put it on the market now," do you want to go ahead and do that? Okay, this is the five percent at the right time. So that's my thoughts on that. I have two videos linked below that I think will really help you. One is three questions to convert every real estate lead. The other one is close deals now. It's how to close more deals right now. And that one, how to close more deals now, that one has a lot of mindset to it. I really think you need to watch it. 
That one goes really deep. If you haven't seen that, I think that would be very beneficial. Other than that, I just want to say how proud I am of you. Um, I'm getting all of your DMs and, and all of the, I see all the comments and, and everything else. You guys are absolutely crushing it and making me so proud. So thank you for that. Thank you for continuing to fight the good fight and keep pushing for your dreams and your life, for your family and for everything else that you want. You just got to keep fighting. Nothing's easy. You just got to keep going and enjoy the process. So click that like button, hit that subscribe. Let me know what in the world I could do for you. We'll see you on the next video. Let's go.